My friend Roger Swain says you can tell a lot about a man by his compost pile. Now this is my compost pile in my backyard. It's pretty much a lazy man's pile. All it is is four old pallets nailed together. It's actually coming apart over there in the corner. And I throw everything that used to be alive into this pile. Some old rhubarb that was getting a little too fat to use. Burlap, that'll break down. Old chunks of clay, old pottery, old weeds. I just throw it all in. And in a year or two, I'm going to have some good usable compost for my lawn. At commercial composting operations like this one in Azusa, California, run by the Monrovia growers, they turn the compost frequently. They get it up to temperatures of 150 degrees, and you can see the steam. It's piping hot, rolling off the pile. The goal, of course, is to come up with finished compost. This black gold smells sweet and has no heat whatsoever. Well, to learn more about the finished compost process, we're going to visit with Todd Harrington of Sustainable Growth Incorporated, a frequent Safe Lawns consultant. Todd, you talk a lot about the importance of using finished compost. Can you explain what that means and how we get to finished compost? Well, finished compost is basically a compost that has biodegraded or decomposed okay. to the point where we can put it on a plant and the plant will respond well to it. Okay. Versus when it's not finished, it sometimes can harm the plant. What's right. really important also is the temperature. You have to maintain the, the temperature. And as you can see, we have a thermostat. Okay, you have a, ther yeah, a little probe here. Right. Now this looks like something that you stick into your turkey. Yep. And uh, sticks right back in there. Exactly. And what are you going for temperature-wise? Uh, we look basically for uh, 131 degrees. Uh, there's certain guidelines that certain organizations require mm -hmm. before it gets turned because of certain things that happen during the composting process or decomposing process, such as uh, eliminating weed seeds mm -hmm. and the possible pathogens. Um, so it's really important that we maintain the temperature and when it reaches the proper temperature, then we turn the pile. Okay. Now, after it's got to 130, 132 degrees, you want to leave it there for a week or two? Let it stay at that temperature right, for a while? Right, because that's the kind of the uh, magic number okay. uh, for the biology to start breaking down organic mat material. Right. Uh, if it doesn't reach that temperature, then it's not decomposing properly and you're not eliminating the weed seeds and pathogens. I've had compost at my house that arrives and it's steaming hot, mm -hmm. hot to the touch. Mm -hmm. Probably shouldn't use that right away. No, yeah. no, actually yeah. that's, those are the microorganisms feeding on all the carbon and yeah. when they feed on, or you know, they're feeding on the carbon, they release energy which is in the, in the form of heat and that's what you're seeing. Okay, compost that smells really bad, like ammonia or very pungent, mm -hmm. also shouldn't use that. Right, right, because it's still going through the process of decomposing. Uh, that's just a normal process of the microorganisms releasing the energy in the form of either ammonium or sulfur. Sometimes it might smell like rotten eggs. That, that's just a good indication that the, it's working, it's doing its job. Mm -hmm. But when you finish the finished stuff, the finished stuff should really, I mean, this isn't quite finished, but it still it's, it smells, it smells pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's yeah, getting you, there. It, yeah. it should smell very earthy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those are the, you think, uh, such organisms, the uh, actinomyces, and there's certain good bugs in the soil that give that sweet smell. Yeah. It's like when you go into a forest, you know, and you dig around and it smells really sweet. Yeah. Well, that's what we're looking for. You know, Mother Nature has already designed this uh, unique, excellent, uh, magical source for us, and we just are starting, just starting to understand it. Even though, as Todd said, we're just starting to understand how compost works, we certainly know it works. Just look at this lawn. 